Dolly has been downgraded from a hurricane to a tropical storm. But some officials are still worried about flooding. 100 mile an hour winds and about a foot of rain fell on the Gulf Coast as the storm moved inland from South Padre Island, Texas towards Brownsville. Dolly ripped roofs off buildings and knocked down trees. Yeah, I thought it was just a big clap of thunder, but uh, we came out here to look and we saw this stuff flying around and uh, it's the roof. Officials say the Rio Grande's levees appear to be holding. Rain continues to fall and water levels are rising steadily, but they haven't reached flood stage. Area shelters expect an influx of people on Thursday as more people get flooded out. More than 5,000 people have already moved to public shelters in the three hardest hit Texas counties. No deaths have been reported. The National Weather Service expects Dolly to weaken into a tropical depression Thursday. Emergency workers, including Texas Governor Rick Perry, plan to assess the storm's damage even as people are still being rescued from flooded or damaged homes. We can go in and try and rescue any personnel that are trapped and get them to a safe area. Uh, we also look at if we need to move uh, local law enforcement around and let them see from the air so they can better manage their forces. The U.S. Census Bureau says 1.5 million Texans could feel Dolly's wrath before it dissipates. Texas Governor Rick Perry declared 14 South Texas counties disaster areas and is seeking a federal disaster declaration. Sandy Cozell, The Associated Press.